Hi everybody and welcome back to Honestly KDP. My name is Laura. Um, today I just wanted to do something I thought was um, kind of cool. Trying to always learn and teach myself new things, especially when it comes to uh, design, because you need to always be trying to up your game and get better if you want to make this a business and you want to make a decent income from it. So um, today I'm going to show you uh, something that I learned from some other um, YouTube videos and taught myself. Um, I will show you so some really good channels to follow if you want to learn some design skills. And this is with Inkscape, um, which is completely free to use. Um, one is the Iron Echo Design, and the other one is Create for Free. And they both have really excellent videos of, of different things that you can do with Inkscape that'll take your designs up to the next level. Um, so that said, what I'm going to show you to do in Inkscape is um, how to make those like mandala animals that you see the coloring books, you know, with the mand mandala animal shapes. So it's really simple once you learn it. Um, if you have Creative Fabrica, you can get the designs from there. Uh, or if you don't, you can probably find some on Pixabay or some other sites or even within Canva itself if you're using Canva. Um, for me, these are what I downloaded. So for the um, mandala, I do use the ping PNGs and then uh, you need SVG uh, for the animal shape. The um, if you use anything else, it really won't work. I guess you convert can convert something else to SVG or vector, but um, I just prefer to find the ones that are already SVG. It works a lot easier and less work for me. So I already downloaded these. Um, what you're going to do is go into uh, Inkscape and, that, and we're going to import the sea turtle. And then what you want to do is you want to duplicate that and then just take the extra one over to the side. And then we're going to import here the PNG of a mandala. And once you, it took me a little bit of practice, even once I learned how to do it, but um, it does get faster. I created, once I learned how to do it, I created two full coloring books pretty quickly. Um, and then to put this down to the bottom, we're just going to click here where the arrow's down, center that, and then hold the shift key, make sure it's selected, hold the shift key and select the other item as well. And then you go up here to Object, Clip, Set. Okay, and then you'll see that it does have like unfinished lines here where there's nothing. So that's where this comes in. And then you want to take this here. And then again, we're going to put it to the bottom and set this on top. And it just gives it sort of an outline to it. Um, you can mess around with the bottom one, see if you can get it bigger and so that the outline will be a little bit bigger. Um, and then export PNG image. And then you can just upload it straight into Canva or, or um, PowerPoint or wherever you create your coloring books. Um, you can put some background images, however you want to do that. Um, so that's just a simple way to do that. So if you have this image on the top and the mandala on the bottom, you're going to use that clip set like I showed you. But you can also put the mandala on top if you have, say, a different image, even like a colored in image. It might look good as long as it's the SVG. Let's see if it will work with one of these. I'm 
smaller. Okay, so in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to select this and then push it to the back. And while it's still selected, hold shift and grab this and then object. And instead of clip, you're going to use mask set. And there you see it's if you had a colored image that would look good with the mandala inside as well. So those are clip and mask within Inkscape. Like I said, it's completely free to use and you can just practice and mess around with it is what I have been doing. Um, you know, there's, there's already a lot of animal mandalas, but you can even try to find other silhouettes or other SVGs that you can use. Um, you can even um, do it inside of text like you have a text svg and then put like the pattern into it so just um, play around and um, it's really fun to use i spend a lot of time <laughs> working on this um, and that's all for my video today i will have another video soon i actually want to do one more on inkscape um, design and I hope you all have a great quarter four and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.